Hey y'all, um, welcome to the new and um, yet to be determined whether or not it's improved, let me know, uh, video book reviews. Instead of providing you individual book reviews for each book, I'm going to provide you a tidbit overview and then you can read the blog post if you want more information about each of the books that I read. Um, so let's see, so far in 2019, I've visited King's Landing, read the diary of a first lady, hired a nanny, and decided to be a morning person. More on that in just a minute. Um, so A Clash of Kings is the second book in the Game of Thrones series, and I really enjoyed it, primarily because Jon Snow and um, Arya are two of my favorite characters in the series, and this book spends a lot of time sharing their points of view. Um, let's see, Becoming is Michelle Obama's memoir, and uh, that was actually our book club book at my work for the month of February. It was a great book by all accounts. One of the things that really stuck with me was that she narrated her own book on Audible, which I find very fascinating. I really enjoy hearing writers' own words in their own voice. Um, so that was a thrill for me, and you can check out the blog post, uh, another one, I'll link to it here that um, tells you how you can go from reading on your Kindle to listening to a book on Audible. Um, let's see, The Perfect Nanny is the New York Times top 10 book that I've tackled so far. I have two books down from that list now, because if you recall, Educated is on that list and I read that last year. This book totally freaked me out. <laughs> I was talking to Brittany about it and she didn't have quite the same reaction, so hopefully not everybody will. But I would tell anybody who's similar to me to have a flashlight by your bed for when the nightmares come and there's, you know, various hacking dreams. It, it was bad. I'm not, not going to lie. Um, and then finally, manage your day today, build your routine, find your focus, and sharpen your creative mind. This book I had started in 2018, and it's a series of vignettes and stories and actionable steps from successful people. So uh, you don't have to finish it all at once. Obviously, I read it in bits and droves and finished it in January. Uh, one of the tips is to have a really good morning routine, which I have found um, as far as I've been trying to practice that. that That's true. It really starts your day off well. Um, so one of the things that I did was get an alarm clock that introduces sunlight into your room so that instead of waking up to an obnoxious alarm, you can wake up to the subtle change in um, light within your room, which has been helping me to wake up. I am a night owl. <laughs> I don't typically like to be woken up at the crack of dawn. I would much prefer to be up late, but there's only so many brain cells, uh, tasks my brain can handle, and um, hours in a day. So. Those are the books that I have for you so far. Read the blog post for more information about each one of them, and let me know what you thought if you read along with any of these. Until next month.